I have to say that he has put forward this week some amendments, some changes to Mrs May's dreadful, dreadful set of documents. And they do make things, if they were accepted by Brussels, quite a bit better. Still nowhere near where I'd want us to be, but quite a bit better. The thing is, I don't think there's a cat's chance in hell of Brussels accepting this, which takes us back to Mrs May's new European treaty, rejected three times by the House of Commons, or leaving with a clean break, no deal. Parliament is not going to vote for that. It ain't going to happen this side of a general election. There's no chance of that. So if Boris is forced to extend, which I think he's going to be, there's no way we can leave on the 31st of October. Folks, I don't think we're leaving on the 31st of October. My view is the government are saying this, Boris is saying this, so that when we wake up on the 1st of November, he can say, it wasn't my fault, Gov. Those dreadful people in Brussels wouldn't compromise. Parliament's against me. It's not my fault. And I think that is what's going on here.